Hi, I'm no one in particular. I did a video on Mina Shirakawa getting all thirsty in the past and how crazy and sexy she goes. Well, here's a goddamn sequel because this sexy spider decided she wanted to bang the new girl. Bum bum bum! Same song! Pro wrestling is inherently theater. The ring is a stage, but the crowd is also a character, and anyone who's ever done the Rocky Horror Picture Show live understands the parallel. If that wasn't true, Dan Housen wouldn't be here. Who's this? Pro wrestling feuds have a potential to tell a story, and that story can have a beginning, middle, and an end like no shit, duh. Even just arc one of something bigger, okay? Like Mina Shirakawa. See, after her vagina took control of her during a match with Tam Nakano, Mina stopped being super horny for Tam and focused on strength. Their bond grew stronger than ever. <laughs> But so cute, look at Tam, Aww. But then the new girl enters the Donna Del Mondo unit, the women of the world, run by Julia. She's the toxic spider Thekla, an Austrian wild girl who speaks perfect Japanese and doesn't give a fuck about making a scene. She's Rizzo from Greece, mixed with Angelina Jolie from Girl Interrupted, and also Tank Girl. She's highly accomplished, but mental. Party with her and wake up in her bed the next morning going, what the actual fuck? She immediately stood out amongst a sea of Asian women. Mina certainly noticed. Because despite finally being with Tam, Mina saw this girl and home girl just couldn't help herself to the new white girl. Thekla immediately noticed too, and their flirtation began. First, they introduced themselves, but Thekla played coy. They continued teasing in further matches, trading wins and losses. It doesn't matter. She even made a t-shirt teasing Mina, and Mina goes like this. And it's like super obvious what's going on here. Then she cuts this promo about how she's going to crush Thekla with her boobas, like such, and like, okay. But then Thekla responds by calling her boobs on. Like, of course. Now Mina's thirsting harder and becomes the predator. Look at them, she's hunting the spiders. This leads to a single match for the SWA title. What is the SWA title? I have no idea. I could look it up. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I forgot it existed. She already decided to drop it after holding three belts because Brock Lesnar can't just hold everything, right? Brock Lesnar can't just hold everything, right? So now these two are going to wrestle for it as stakes, even though the stakes truly involve splooshing. So call it the Sexy Wrestling Alliance or something. I don't care. They finally get their hands on each other, but that club plays hard to get, but is flirting the whole goddamn time. This forces Mina to get impatient, and her horniness makes her aggressive and speaking English. I they beat the shit out of each other with booba punches, but being aggressive was the trap the toxic spider wanted. And then Mina falls to this super awesome looking move. And it ends. It ends. Oh boy. Mina wanted to crush Thekla with her boobas? Well, Thekla crushes Mina's hunger longa hona longas and pins her for the victory in the sexy wrestling title. But this sexy relationship is not done. Mina is not happy. Thekla clearly wants more. The next night, Mina scores a victory in a tag match and makes it known. Oh, we are so gonna party again, girl. This is what I'm saying about the theater of wrestling. The majority of the story was told in the ring, and it's the most clear example of a playful rivalry that I've ever seen. The story of a college fling with that wild person you regret the next day, but man, was it a lot of fun still. <laughs> Eventually, I want to talk about cuteness in wrestling instead of sexiness, as Mina's next feud involves cheating on Tam with Unagi to go after the goddess belts, and it's, and it's cute as hell, man. It's cute as hell. Man, this company. What was the whole shtick of Bobby Roode again? Ah, yes. Stardom is just. Whoa!